Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a 50% off back to school haul for you guys. So this morning at six o'clock in the morning, I went to Texas Thrift, one of my favorite thrift chains, and I started thrifting. And normally, whenever they do these 50% off sales, I go to two different locations but I found 71 pieces at one location and I was like, okay, I need to stop. I'm not going to the second location. If you guys do not know, I am a school librarian. So August is a crazy month for me as I get back to school and back into the rhythm of things. So I definitely don't want a crazy amount of inventory. I don't want to start a death pile or anything like that. So once I had those 70 pieces, I was like, oh my goodness, this is Perfect, so this is enough, one stop is good. And the best part is, is that since the doors open at 6 a.m., I was done by 8.30. I wish every thrift chain on half off days opened their doors this, that early because most people are not willing to get up that early, but I am because like I said, I work in a school, so I am used to it. So I was just elated to find all of this stuff. Now, like I just mentioned, I am very busy right now. August is like the craziest time for educators. If you have a friend or family member, a spouse, or if you're an educator, you know that. Make sure that you're really nice to all your educator friends in August because we are busy bees. So with that said, everything may not be listed when you're seeing this. If you're interested in anything and it's not listed yet, just let me know and I will do my best to get it up ASAP. Um, all of my closet information and stores are linked down below. I do sell on uh, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but I do list everything on Poshmark first, so check there first. And again, if it's not listed and you're interested, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you and try and list it as soon as I can. But let's go ahead and get into this haul. So Texas Thrift is typically really pricey for me and what I'm looking for, but on half off days, it makes it reasonable. So my average cost of goods for today was $4.54, which I love. All right, let's go with shoes first. So the first pair of shoes, and I'm just gonna show you the single shoe, but I do have the other one, is this pair of Steve Madden's. So I don't pick up all Steve Madden's, but these are really trendy. Um, with like the wedge heel and then of course the reptile print and these are in a size These are in a size six so a smaller size, but that certainly does not scare me The next pair of shoes are a kids pair of crocs like I said and I keep saying I do work in a school and let me tell you kids love crocs parents love buying crocs they won't sell for much, but they will always sell and these are in a kid's size too. All right, another pair of kids Crocs. These ones are really cute. These are the Marvel Superhero Squad Crocs. And these are in a kid's size, it says four or five. I'm not really sure about kids sizes, so I will look at a size chart. And another pair of shoes, personal fave of mine, is this pair of Brooks running shoes. If you've never tried on a pair of Brooks, you need to, they are so comfortable. These are the Launch 6, and these are in a size 10 and a half. I do need to clean them up a little bit, but otherwise the tread looks really good. Whenever you're sourcing running shoes, you wanna look at the tread and make sure that it's not too worn down. Um, sometimes people will ask me like well, how many miles have been run in this and I just tell them like I'm not the original owner But the tread looks really good see photo blank, you know that way you're not being deceitful and you're still showing everything The next pair of shoes I'm gonna go ahead and send into the real real it's this pair of Stuart Wiseman's they are obviously kind of outdated They're just like a little heel with the floral um, detail right there and I'm not expecting anything crazy for these, but I paid, I think, like $2.50 at the half off price. And you guys know I love sending things to the real real because it's like no work for me at all. And so any type of money I can make off of it, even if it's like $4, I'm in. So those are going to the real real. And the last pair of shoes I have is another pair of kids' shoes. It is a pair of kids' Hirachis. And these are in a size 7 youth. They're in really good shape, but they are missing like the insoles. 
So I will just disclose that, of course. All right, that's all the shoes. Now let's move on to clothing. I think what happened is, is there were like one or two really good donations and I just so happened to find them all be there, you know, at the right time because a lot of these pieces are in the same or similar sizes. So this is Free People size medium and it's this really pretty tunic. I love that lace detail right there. I think in the fall with like some knee-high boots, this would be really adorable. So I'm probably going to start this out at um, $28. If it's anything like crazy when I look up the OB number, then I will of course price it higher or lower, but probably $28 is a good starting point. The next item is so much fun. This is Keepsake Keepsake the label, and I think this is their older tag. This is a size medium. And I love this. Look at that little fringe detail. Just a really nice white dress. I love that it's not over the top, even though it has this fringe detail. It's not like in your face because it's so pure white. So I think this is a really fun piece. Give me just a second. All right, so next we have this free people piece and this is in collaboration with the Jet Set Diaries. So if you guys don't know, the Jet Set Diaries is a brand that's sold on Revolve and the Real Real also does take it. Um, I believe I've sold this dress once before, like way back in the day. It's just a black lace dress. It's got a really deep V there. I'm going to look up comps on this. I don't think they're incredible if I remember correctly, but maybe it's changed. It's a really pretty dress though. The next dress I'm going to send to the Real Real, this is Robert Rodriguez. They don't really price this brand up, but again, you know me. Anything that sells over there that I didn't have to do the work for, I'm happy with. But I love this magenta color. So again, this is going to the Real Real. Our next piece is a Torrid piece. You guys know I love Torrid. Size 1X, I love the floral detail. It is a cold shoulder. Just a really nice dress. It has pockets, uh, which is always like a great selling point. I always write in the description, like has pockets if I catch it. Our next piece is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. I believe this is their older tag, and this is a size small. It's a really cute white romper. It's got these tassels down here, very bohemian. And then it's lace down here at the bottom. The sleeves are sheer. I don't always pick up this brand, but when it's really pretty and really bohemian like this, I definitely do. This next piece, I've never sold this brand before and I don't think I've ever found it, but I see a lot of people talking about it on Instagram, so I'm going to try it out. This is Tucker Nut. I don't know if I said that right. And I think what they're known for is kind of like their nautical, like preppy sailor vibes. It's kind of like Vineyard Vines, I want to say, but more expensive. And it's just this really simple striped dress. It's cream and navy. Like, if I were one of those people that went, like, sailing on my yacht, this is something that I would wear. Doesn't it look like that? So, we'll see how that does. I need to look up comps on that. The next piece is Knox Rose, which I do pick up Knox Rose if I think it's really cute and if it's really inexpensive. This is a size extra small. And this is a maxi dress. And this brand typically sells anywhere from $15 to $25, just depending on what you have. And I've had the best luck with it on eBay and Mercari. The next piece might be going to the Real Real. There's a few spots on it that I need to get out. It's C by Chloe, and it's a size US 8. And there's like a stain on the interior lining, and the Real Real can be really picky about that if it's not like a super luxurious brand so they really don't price up see by chloe um at least not the clothing pieces the shoes are a little bit pricey sometimes 
but the clothing pieces they normally start anywhere from 50 to 75 dollars so they're going to be picky on that because there is that stain on the interior lining so i'm going to try and get that out and if i can't i'll just sell it myself no big deal our next piece is anthropology this is dolan left coast that's the old dolan tag and this one is a size medium and it's this really nice green color and it's just a very casual dress day shift dress i would wear it with like some converse or your air force ones or if i wanted to dress it up i would put a little belt on it and then maybe like a nice little wedge heel would be cute or some riding boots you guys know i love riding boots all right so next is a new to me brand I mostly picked this one up on style. This is the brand About Us. This might be sold on Revolve. I do need to look it up. This is a size small. And I picked this up because of the print. I think it's just adorable. It is stars and it's a little mini dress. And there is a little bit of boning right here in the chest. So this is very cute, very on trend. It kind of reminds me of something that I would see at like Princess Polly. The next piece is Mage. I might send this into the real reel. I'm going to give it a little bit of time on my own. Cherry. Sorry, it's a wrap dress and it's a little bit hard to figure out. This is Mage. I do need to look at the size chart to see what size 2 translates to. But it's like this tie dress. It's an animal print. The fabric doesn't feel like it's anything luxurious. Again, I'm going to try this on my own. And if it doesn't get any attention within like 30 days, I'll probably just end up sending it to the real real. I have like a little bucket off to the side where I put all of the real real things that I'm going to send. And then sometimes I'll put things in there that I might send if they don't sell in a certain amount of time. That way it's like all separated and I don't have to dig through my inventory to get to it. The next piece is another The Real Real Contender. I'm going to try this on my own because I think it's just beautiful. But I don't have very good luck with this. This is Parker size extra small. And it is so cute. Look at the little bow detail and the little peekaboo cutout. It is probably a midi length. And it's got all these little cutouts. I would keep this, but I am very, very pale, and pure white just washes me out even more. But I think this is so adorable. I know it's not really the season we're going into, but things sell all year long. I don't really care about seasonality personally because, I mean, I sell coats during the summer, and I sell shorts during the winter, you know? The next piece I picked up mostly on style, this is... THML. A lot of people mark this as anthropology, but I don't think that's true. This is a size medium. It's really, really cute. I love the sleeves. I love all that embroidery. So they normally make blouses like this that are a little bit bohemian, and they normally only sell for $15 to $25. The next piece is a brand that I never pick up, but this was really inexpensive and it's brand new with tag. This is Universal Threads, which is sold at Target. Um, and it is a size extra, extra large, which is another great selling point. I personally really like Universal Thread. I can't really wear it myself because I find that it runs really large and it doesn't fit me correctly because I'm very petite. But I think that their designs are just so cute. They're kind of more be bohemian, as you guys can see. This really reminds me of something that I would see from like the designer brand C New York with like that puff sleeve. It's a burnt orange color. So if I have any University of Texas fans, any Longhorns out there watching, you need that for game day. I'm just saying. All right. Next, we have another anthropology piece. This is a Maeve size extra small. And I actually left quite a bit of free people in anthropology behind. But these are the pieces that I thought had sellability. I really like the bright colors and this is just a really good career piece. I know that all of us teachers were talking last year because you know it was a pandemic and they were just kind of happy that we were there like supporting the children. They let us wear jeans all year long and this year they're already telling us like okay you're back to professional dress which I love getting dressed up. It's like one of my favorite things but most teachers don't feel that way so 
it is what it is and I think a lot of people that are going back are having to buy work clothes because they're like a new size or maybe their styles change and so a top like that with a nice pair of pants I think would just be an easy way to still be comfortable while also being professionally dressed. This next piece is a kimono. I love kimonos. This is MG, it's a size small medium. But honestly, I think this could fit even a large. But I love the colorway in this. This will probably go for $15 to $25. I don't pick up all MG kimonos, but if I think they're cute, I'm sure someone else will think they're cute. Alright, so the next piece is a J. Crew blazer. And J. Crew blazers do pretty well for me. This is a size 4. And I love this one because it's like really nautical. You guys can see, let me find the button for you guys. So the buttons here have like the crest on it. And so this kind of like nautical preppy style is always in. There's always someone that wants to wear something like this. I love the white piping as well. So again, going back to that, you have to dress professional. I think this would be a really cute, simple way to be professional at your job. All right, our next piece, I don't think I've ever found this anthropology brand. It's one of my personal favorites, but I never find it at a thrift store because it is one that there's not like an abundance of. And then also it's a pricier one. This is Vinite Ball. This is size medium. And I love this floral pattern. I know Shein, I mean Shein copies everything, but I know for sure Shein was selling a reproduction of this. But how pretty is this? I love it. If it was my size, I would keep it. Another great little work piece. This next piece is another anthropology piece, and this is an older brand. This is Odile. This is in a size zero. This brand for me always sells. It doesn't always sell for a lot, but it always sells, and I think it's because they make really classic pieces. Like this is a polka dot blouse. It's a button up. And I think that even today you can wear this, like polka dots are still in, you know? So I think because they are so timeless, people search this brand out. I think that's really cute, personally. All right, this next piece is really fun. It's definitely from like the 90s or something. It totally gives me 90s teacher vibe. It's the brand Portraits, and it's a size extra large. And look how fun it is. Look at this graphic. So it's like a boat and then a map. And it makes you think, um, I was like researching all of the TEKS, which are the standards in Texas that you have to teach for um, pre-K through sixth grade, because that's the grades that I cover in the library. And I think it was fifth grade. They have a longitude and latitude, um, like little unit. And I was like, how fun would this be to wear while you're teaching your kids about longitude and latitude or even mapping? Like, so fun, so cute. Um, I don't post often on Depop, but this might be something that I put on there just because I know someone's going to want this. Like, I'm not, I'm not okay. It's so cute. All right, moving on. This is kind of boring, but this is a Madewell. It's a size extra small. And it's just your classic striped button-up. You need a basic. It's boring, but you need it. Probably only like $15. Another anthropology piece. This one is Florite, and this one's a size 10. I think this is a gorgeous blouse. Now, the only thing is, if I move you in closer, you can see some of them have, some of the flowers have like a little gem, but not all of them do. So I need to do some research and see like, is it supposed to be like that? Did some of them fall off? But I really don't think it's a deal breaker personally. I am noticing there is like a start of a hole in the back here though. Bummer. This is what I get for shopping at, you know, 6 a.m. So I will still probably, there's the hole, still probably post this just much cheaper than I was intending to. It happens. All right, our next piece is from one of my least favorite brands. And I keep trying with this brand and it's always unsuccessful. And that brand is Chaser. So Chaser is really known for these really cool graphic t-shirts. And I never find those ones. Um, I always find pieces like this. 
So this is, I think it's cute. It's got like all of this beading on here. It's size large, I didn't say that. And then it's kind of like a really subtle tie-dye. And it's just a nice little cardigan. So we'll see how it does. I'm not really expecting anything amazing. Keep your expectations low sometimes and then maybe it'll surprise me. All right, so this is one of my favorite brands. This is Athleta. I do pick pretty much all of it up unless it's really boring. This is the super old tag. I'm trying to get it. It's all, it's pretty worn out. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's super old tag, Athleta. And this is just a cardigan. It's gray. There's thumb holes down here somewhere. Yep, there's a thumb hole. I don't know about you guys, but I love thumb holes. I know that's so weird and so random, but I love just like sitting there. It gives me something to do and like the texture to feel on to. I don't know. I'm a fidgeter. If I'm wearing like jewelry or I have a pen in my hand, I'm not one of those people that annoyingly sits there and clicks it, but I'm like moving my hand up and down. And I don't know why I do that, but I am definitely a fidgeter. Like this video if you're a fidgeter too. This is probably going to be for me. This is just Francesca's, which doesn't really have a resale value, but I loved it. It's another kimono, one size fits most. And I just love the colors, and I think this with a little dress would be really cute. Next piece is for all of my horn frogs, so TCU horn frogs. This is a size medium and this is by the brand press box they make a lot of college apparel and it's just like a um, textured material I do like to pick up school specific things um, especially now because we're coming into the fall there's gonna be a lot of incoming students freshmen I think they changed what they call their freshmen um, but anyway first year people at universities and they're going to be looking for things that are cute to wear to games and something like that. It's really simple, really easy to post. I don't expect a huge profit, but I'm hoping it might go quickly because of the season we're in. All right, so this is a miracle suit, which I've never found before. It is brand new with tag. And it says originally it was $98. And it is just a really nice cover up. Not really sure what to expect on this. I see Lori's Boston Found finds the one pieces quite a bit and she sells them for a good amount. This is, is there a size on this? This might be a one size fits most. Oh, it says it's a size small, but it's oversized, I would say. So that's fine. I love the beading at the top of it. All right, this next shirt is not anything I ever pick up. This is Affliction, which I think is sold at Buckle. This is a size small, but really what drew my interest was this graphic on the back. It kind of reminded me of like Harley Davidson with the skull and the wings. And I know this is some people's style. Oh, there is a small hole. Can you guys see that? Unfortunately. So again, I will list and disclose. I will just price it really inexpensive, but this was like $3 originally, so $1.50. So can't go wrong there. It says seek and destroy. What a message. Alright, so our next piece is Adidas. This is a size small. So Adidas. This is not Adidas original. That's okay. It's just a black sweater and then it's got like the basketball jersey netting at the bottom. I thought that was kind of an interesting contrast. Alright. I have more Adidas to come to if you're an Adidas person. This next piece is another kimono. I do love a good kimono. This is Knox Rose, size small medium. And I loved the color on this one. It reminded me of like a really nice tapestry like that you'd hang on the wall. So definitely oversized again. I would say if you're a size large, you could fit into that for sure. This is another brand that I'm trying out. A lot of people talk about this brand. This is Logo by Lori Goldstein. And this is any size 1X. I've heard that in plus size, especially it does really well. And I find this all the time. I just have never picked it up. But I loved this tie-dye. Super on trend. So I love it. It's a cardigan. 
next piece is Lululemon. And I have not been able to locate the size dot, so that's always fun. I would say it's a four if I had to guess, but measurements will be included. And it's just a lightweight striped jacket. These really don't go for much anymore. And quite frankly, if it doesn't pull up in Google Image, I'm not going through Lululemon or Lulu Fanatics to find this exact jacket. I don't care that much. That's a me thing. I know different strokes for different folks, but I don't care that much. <laughs> so I'm not expecting much out of this. I'll probably start it at 40 and then see how it does. I don't think it's anything rare, you know. This next piece is Free People. This is a size extra small. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm like 90% sure this is one, a style that's been sold at TJ Maxx. I know it is an older style, but it's got like the ombre glitter detail here at the bottom. It's a fit and flare. And why I think it's sold, it was sold at TJ Maxx is I know I've seen this a lot when I search Free People. So I know it was like a style that was... There were a lot sold of them, so I'm not expecting much out of that. All right, we still have, are you guys ready? Three more bags. Whew. All right, I love this next blazer. This is Pendleton Petite, and I believe it's a six petite. And if this is my size, I would keep it. Look how pretty this color is. And I love the little buttons. It's like, is this called, is it triple breasted? Because there's three of them, I don't know. But look how cute this is. Can you imagine this in like the springtime with like a little floral dress and some sandals? So cute. I did notice like a little mark on the sleeve here that I'm going to stain treat. You guys can see that. So hopefully I can get that out. Next piece is Yumi Kim. This is a size extra small. This is Yumi Kim. This is sold on Revolve and Anthropology sometimes. Um, I will say like it doesn't necessarily resell for a lot, especially because I believe this is like an older tag, but it will sell for at least 25 most of the time. So I don't know if it's supposed to be worn off the shoulder. It's really stretchy right here, so I would imagine. But I love, anytime they have like a little tie on the sleeve, I'm like, I love. So very pretty. Yumi Kim's really known for their floral prints, and a lot of the times they use silk. That didn't feel like silk to me, so I don't think that one was. We have another free people piece here. This one is a size extra small, but as you guys know, free people runs very large. I would say this could probably fit up to a medium, um, but it's just like a nice little tunic. I think this would be really perfect for the fall time. So that's fun. Next we have a brand that I don't often pick up, but I thought this was a really classic piece. This is Joa, and this is their old tag, size extra small. It reminded me a lot of like a Rebecca Taylor piece in that it's so like feminine and dainty looking. So it's got micro polka dots, and then if you look on the sleeves, it's got like this lattice lace detail. So very pretty, another great piece that you can wear to work. Pair it with a nice pair of flats, jeans on casual Fridays. This next piece is Vineyard Vines, extra, extra small. And I did pick it up because it is 100% linen. People love their linen. It says it's extra, extra small, but I would say it could probably fit up to a small. And I think it's a tunic. Seems like a tunic length. I do post measurements because I found that when I wasn't posting measurements and I was like yeah let me know if you need the measurements I wasn't responding because I get busy so now I just post them this is intermix I don't think I've ever just picked up intermix this is a size small so intermix is a website that sells designer pieces but this is like their brand so I'm not sure how it'll do it's just classic white blouse it's got a super flared so like it's bigger than my head I think that's called a trumpet sleeve and then it's got a zipper down the back all the way so we'll see I'll look up comps on that brand next piece is rag and bone this is a size zero and unfortunately I did notice when I got home there is discoloration underneath the armpits 
someone was sweating, it happens. So I'm going to see if I can fix that, and if not, list and disclose. We'll see. Normally I send rag and bone into the real real, but they will not accept it like that. This is Express, the Portofino shirt. I pick these up often during half off sales if I think they're cute. This is a size small, and I love this one because it's so sleek looking, black with that white piping. I think this is the perfect basic. This is a Lily Pulitzer. I love Lily. Size small. And it's got this beaded detail, and the beading all looks like it's intact. And it's this bright teal color. So I really like selling Lily. I know that's not everyone's opinion to each their own. I know some brands sell better for certain people. This next piece is one that I think again was sold at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I know I've sold this before once in pink. This is We The Free, size extra small, and it's this velvet blue top velvet is always really popular in the winter time so we're coming up on that good time in there next we have a j crew top this is in a size eight it is the perfect fit and anytime i find j crew with like a novelty print i pick it up so as you guys can see this is elephant there's some people that really love elephants so they may want a shirt that shows their love, their passion for elephants. Alright, next we have Knox Rose. This is a size small. And this is really cute. I love the purple color and then of course the little tassel detail around the neckline. So very cute. Thinking like $25 at the most. This next dress is really pretty. It's heavy too. This is Adriana Papel. And again, this is a brand that really, the style, it's style dependent, I should say. This is a size US 4. And as far as I can tell, all of the beading is intact. It is a maxi length. And like I said, it is rather heavy, but it's really beautiful. It's a really nice, like, light pink champagne -y color, so if you're tan and not pale like me, it'll look fantastic on you. Or even if you are pale like me, rock it confidently, wear whatever you want. But I really like that piece. I'm not really sure what to price it at. I know some of Adriana Papel's, like, beaded gowns and dresses can do really well. This is Talani, size small. Sometimes this is sold at Anthropology. Often the blouses are silk. I believe this one is. They're really bohemian looking. I like the colors on this one a lot, especially for the fall time. Does orange just make you automatically think of October? Because every time I see orange, all I can think of is October and Halloween. All right, this next jacket I really like. This is a size large, and this one is Adidas Originals. You can tell because of the blue, uh, I think it's called a trefoil. So this one's interesting, it's floral as you can see, it's got the stripes down the side, but the back graphic, I don't think it's supposed to be all cracked like this, but it like also kind of blends in like it is, so I'm going to do some more research, I think it looks kind of cool, all cracked like that, I have no idea what to expect on this, but I really like it. So again, size large, not sure what I'm pricing that at. All right, this next piece, I cannot find a date code, but I would venture to say it's vintage. It's just Gildan, just kind of like your generic, like, Hanes type of shirt. This is a size small, but look, it's the Disney characters, and it's the Nike swoosh, and it says Just Dream, and it's got all of the Disney characters on it. So I figured someone would want this. So I'm going to do some more research on this. I got a lot of researching ahead of me. Next, we have yet another kimono. I think this is in kimono number four. This is Topshop size six. I need to stop picking up Topshop, but I will say their kimonos have always sold for me. Not for a lot, but they do sell. And it's just really paisley. 
bohemian, everything you want a kimono to be. Okay, this is seriously soft. I think that's how they advertise it. Uh, no, uh, amazingly soft. You guys can see that. This is American Eagle, and it is really soft. Size large, and it's just a really nice basic. It's got the classic like rainbow stripe there. The back is just plain, and it is amazingly soft. This is Keepsake the label size extra small this is their newer tag I believe and this is a romper so I really like it it's like a double layered romper so this would be cute to wear to like a bridal shower or something of the sort like obviously if you're supporting your friend not if you're the one about to be wed this is free people size extra small and this would be perfect with a pair of, can you guys guess, riding boots because I love that little cowl neck here and it's got pockets in the front. I think again, a nice tall pair of riding boots with this would be perfect for the fall time with like a nice wide hat. I can totally see it. Again, size extra small, anthropology piece. And this one's funny because I can literally remember wanting this dress way back in the day this is size extra small this is an older piece i want to say this is like i'm trying to remember when i wanted it like 2013 2014 so it's a little outdated now but it's got like a double layer so right here it's lace and then it just goes out into like a jersey material it is my size but personally i no longer want it isn't that the worst when you want something really badly like i like i vividly remember wanting that dress because I love wearing the color red. And then you find it like years later and you're like, that's just not really me anymore. But it's like, I just paid like $5 for that. So I don't know, it's a catch, catch 22. All right, this is another free people. This is their new romantics line. I don't think they make this line anymore. They might, I don't know. I know it's not one of the lines that they produce a lot of. This is a size six. And it's this chambray denim dress. I love the like lattice detail and the back is really cute as well. It's got a cutout. Does it have pockets? No pockets. What a disappointment. But still very cute. Yet another free people. This one is a different free people line. This one is the free people one line and it's a size extra small and it was handmade in India. This is kind of a tunic and I like how like it's a tribal print. I love the colors. I don't know if you guys can see it's a lace here. I thought when I picked it up it was going to be their intimately line but it's not. Next we have a pair of denim. This is Rock and Revival, size 28 and the Tory Strait. So I have a pair of Rock and Revival jeans because everyone says they sell really well. And I got them retail arbitrage and they haven't gotten much interest. They are a smaller size, I wanna say. So I'm hoping that these do better. I'm giving it another chance. I will say though, there is some drag, if you guys can see that. So I will, of course, disclose that, but I'm hoping these do better than the other pair I have. Next is a pair of Free People jeggings. These are in a size 25, and anytime it's like these pull-on jeggings, I pick them up because people love these. I think because they're really comfortable. Um, at the bottom, it's like frayed. So I don't expect anything crazy, but they normally go really fast. Then, oh, this is an exciting find. This is the first pair of denim that I found, and I was like, ooh, the denim's gonna be good. The denim didn't actually being, end up being anything incredible, but still I'm happy with this. This is Mother, and this is a, this is in the style of the Dropout, and it's a size 24. 
I find that mother runs really big because they have a lot of stretch to them. So I would say if you're 25, you could probably fit into these as well. So I don't know anything about this style. It's got like intentional distressing on the pockets. They're really, really ridiculously soft. I personally really like Mother Denim. The only thing I'll say about Mother Denim that I've found is that they stretch out really badly. So I would almost venture, my opinion, I would venture to order a size down because I think that they get a lot of stretch and then they don't fit correctly. It's my experience at least. All right, our next pair, I think this is my last denim piece. This is American Eagle High Rise Shorty. I always pick up the High Rise Shorty and these are in a size two. They're always super distressed. Here's the back. Probably only like $15 to $25. We're almost to the end, guys. This is Adidas, new with tag, size medium. Doesn't say the original price. And it's just a hoodie. It says Adidas on the hood. Kind of hard to show you guys. And it's color block, so it starts out as this like maroon brick red and it goes into a navy. So, got the kangaroo pouch, all that. Then we have a Nike tank. This is a size large. Anytime there's the big swoosh or the big like just do it, it will sell. Not necessarily for a lot, but people do like to have their branded apparel. And our last piece, this is Eloquii. This is probably my favorite or my second favorite plus size brand after Torrid. This is a size 14, 16, and it's just a navy blue cardigan. It is brand new with tag, which I didn't realize until I got home, so it's exciting. So this is perfect for the fall time. Okay, oh, there's one more piece hiding. I see it. I almost thought that was everything. This is the last piece. This is Torrid, another plus size brand, size 1X. And it is just a striped shirt. Probably only like $15 on it. It has buttons down the back. All right, officially, that is everything. It was a crazy morning. I was just like, I just kept pulling things and I was like, in my cart, in my cart, in my cart. This is good. That is everything I got. Again, I think I'm repeating myself for the third time here. If you're interested in anything and it's not listed, let me know in the comments down below and I will tag you in the post or get it listed ASAP. All of my closet information and my Instagram are linked down below. Let me know that you're from YouTube. I will give you a great deal or a follow back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure before you leave to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.